everyone, welcome to Prudent News. First a look at the headlines. Authorities conduct thorough search of Sada Sab jail after Prudent expose. Nab the person who tried to expose the situation. Give clean shit to jail authorities. After a Sada jail shocker, a prisoner from Agwada jail exposes another scandal, complains to Human Rights Commission about siphoning off compensation fund money of accused prisoners. Transport Authority starts consultation with different bus and taxi associations for all types of proposed fare hike, decision by next week. High Court observes that there should be some mechanism to regulate funding of religious institutions in Goa. High Court directs Archbishop to become a party in a matter of Immaculate Conception Church Paroda. Court gives two weeks to the Goa government to explain the delay in appointment of Loka Yukta notice after Shekhar Salkar's petition. And big relief for Glenn Ticklow. Governor disposes nationality petition against him. Election Commission rejects it on technical grounds. Now the news in detail. Additional IGP of prisons Damodar Shanke has given a clean shit to the Sada jail employees and higher ups and instead nabbed the inmate who exposed the wrongdoing. Shanke has said that drug and cash is circulated by jail inmates and not jail employees. Shanke also informed that the person who shot the video, the whistleblower inmate, has been identified and a mobile has been seized from him. Sources inform that the identified inmate will now be shifted to Agwada jail. State was taken aback when Prudent exposed how the illegal activities were carried out in the Sada sub jail. We had showed how drugs, money, food and other luxuries were transported fluently to the services of inmates in Sada Jail. After this expose, higher authorities have woken up and have started investigating the case. Additional IGP of prisons Damodar Shanke, Deputy Collector and SDM of Marmugao Taluka Gauri Shankwarkar and other members of the investigative team are camping at the Sada Sub Jail since Wednesday morning. Sources claim that team has searched every nook and corner of the jail for any vital clue. Statements are being recorded of inmates and jail attendants. Assistant sub-jailer of Sada sub-jail Bhanudas Pednekar was also summoned for interrogation. When additional IGP Damodar Shanke came out of the Sada jail late evening, he cleared that the person who had shot this video the whistleblower has been identified and his mobile has been seized. Sources claim that the said identified inmate will be shifted to Agwada jail. When asked about how the drugs and other luxuries were freely flowing in the jail, additional IGP Damodar Shanke blamed the inmates and gave clean sheet to the jail employees. Nearly 37 inmates have तर तिथून लेन करता की ही जेल अथॉरिटी ची काय मिस्टेक ना हे वितलेत इनमेट्स सम प्रॉब्लम क्रिएट करतात हे आयटम्स बिन मेळाले तुमका सीज झाले आयटम्स सीज झालेले आहेत कोशे सीज झाले मोबाईल सीज झाले आणि कोण प्रॉब्लम करता त्याका आम्ही आयडेंटिफाय केला पण जो आता जो पर्यंत इन्व्हेस्टिगेशन कंप्लीट झाला तो पर्यंत आ स्टेटमेंट करू शकते ना नाउ द क्वेश्चन अराइजेस व्हाय द व्हिसल ब्लोअर इज हेल्ड एंड इज मोबाईल सीज्ड हाऊ ड्रग्स एंड कॅश रीच्ड इनसाइड द जेल if jail employees are innocent and clean, why the other inmates dealing and trading drugs and other luxuries are let scot free? What is the outcome of interrogation of sub jailer and other staff of the jail? The investigating authorities will have to probe these aspects before giving clean sheet to either jail authorities or inmates. Surendra Markaikar for Prudent. And now a second shocker who is siphoning off prisoners' hard earned money in the jails? 
Victims' families too do not get benefits of common victims' compensation fund earned by these accused prisoners. One of the prisoners at the Aguada jail has exposed this state of prison affairs. He has complained that the prisoners do not get their daily wages on a regular basis. He has knocked on the doors of the Goa Human Rights Commission. One of the prisoners from Aguad jail has filed complaint to the Goa Human Rights Commission complaining that he is not getting wages on a regular basis. In the complaint, he has also mentioned that the Common Victims Compensation Fund has not been dispersed for past many days. The legal advisor of the prisoner, Advocate Satish Sonak, has asked the government to look into this matter. In my client's case, whatever those monies which were earned, we do not know whether those monies were deposited, but no monies have gone to the victim's family at all. It appears that there are a number of such cases where the victim's families have got no compensation at all. After July 2011, this committee meeting, they never met at all. We put people in prison so that they become honest there, they become reformed there. But if they go in prison and they learn that, look, the authorities are not doing their job, the monies uh, which they are earning, they are not going to the victims, will they ever be reformed? Will they ever take a lesson? The government has to take this issue very seriously. If the government cannot do handle this, I will say that this one year of this government existence is useless. Superintendent of the Aguada Jail is likely to file a reply by 16th April. Reporter Mahesh Gadi with senior video journalist Tulsidas Chari for Prudent. State Transport Authority has started consultation with different bus and taxi associations for all types of proposed fare hikes. The decision is likely to be taken next week. ST has also decided to increase number of reserve seats for women in all buses. The bus conductor and male passenger both will now be fined for occupying the seats reserved for ladies. State Transport Authority has started the consultation with different bus and taxi associations on the proposed fare hike. Director of Transport has said that bus and taxi operator associations have demanded a fair hike and a decision would likely be taken next week. Some of the bus owners' representatives were present and they were heard by the STA members and it has been decided to call for a special meeting on 14th or 15th of this month to discuss and decide on the issue regarding fair right. STA has increased the number of seats reserved for women and differently able passengers in both mini and big buses. In mini buses, reserved seats for women has been increased from 4 to 8 and in big buses, reserved seats for women has been increased from 6 to 12. STA has also made it clear that no male passenger can occupy reserved seats even if it is vacant. If some male passenger occupies reserved seat, the passenger and conductor of that bus will be fined 100 rupees each. Seats reserved for ladies will not be occupied by gents or male passengers. Even if they are vacant, they will not be occupied. Few other decisions taken by STA are KDC's plans. In first phase, more than 17-year-old buses will be replaced by 30th November 2013. In second phase, more than 16-year-old buses will be replaced by 31st March 2014. In third phase, more than 15-year-old buses will be replaced by 31st March 2015. Reporter Mukesh Kumar for Prudent. The High Court has also observed that there should be some mechanism to regulate funding of religious institutions in Goa. Bench has referred to a similar legislation in force in Maharashtra. High Court was hearing a matter on alleged misappropriation of charity funds by church authorities at Paroda. High Court has directed Archbishop to become a party in this matter. The complaint is about misappropriation of charity funds by a priest of Immaculate Conception Church at Paroda. A police sub-inspector of Kepe Police Station who is investigating the case of alleged misappropriation of charity fund by a parish priest of Immaculate Conception Church Paroda in his say before the High Court of Bombay at Goa has said that he is unable to complete the investigation as the accused is a priest. Hence, it is difficult to take coercive steps as the sentiments of a religious group is likely to be hurt. The petitioner in this matter has made a complaint in Kepe Police Station on June 2010 alleging misappropriation of 24,87,000 rupees of charity fund of Immaculate Conception Church Paroda and had accused parish priest of the church Domingo Norona and the accountant Optasio Almeida. But this complaint was converted into an FIR after an order passed by Additional Sessions Court Margao in March 2011. 
After considering the investigation officer say the high court on Wednesday directed archbishop to become a party so that investigation can be completed without hurting any religious sentiments the high court also observed that there should be some mechanism to regulate funding of religious institutions of goa reporter mukesh kumar for prudent it's time for a short break stay tuned